Good luck. All right, so this is an impromptu exhibition match um, between our newest friend, Kei Tenshi, and um, myself. They are in pursuit of a rating on this website, and they mentioned that they have a rating, a 6Q thing on um, Shogi Wars. So I'm going to try playing an opening I'm not as experienced in because I do want to learn this opening better and I think my opponent could help me learn it. Um, so hmm, what do I do? How do you play this thing? I in some sense I'm kind of joking but for the most part I'm not. So like um, I've played this is the static work opening that I played when I first joined the website. And I don't really know it. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting. So what do we do now? I've moved my rook. So, let me quickly turn up the volume just slightly. It's kind of nice to hear the drums beat from time to time as moves are entered. Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> But yeah, as for like how to play this, I'm very confused. I assume I bring my king to the left and try to build Yaga or something. But I actually don't know. Um I guess I'll just push this other edge pawn, because I'm just super confused. It's okay to be confused, and it's okay to not know things and have to figure them out. It just means this won't be an easy game. Alright. Um, yeah, that seems as sensible as anything to me. Um, wait, if I push here, or if I drop a pawn, if they exchange, what to, what happens next? Huh, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to transition into, like, side pawn picker or something. Not that I know that, but... There's got to be something I can play. Um, I'm just going to play Boat Castle and hope that this makes sense somehow. Uh, this is like the wrong move order to play Boat Castle. Um... Also, this might be the wrong idea in this position, because I don't know. But yeah, they've got their static rook appearing down this way. Um, so I'm not totally sure what to do. I seem to have missed my chance to prevent, or to like, if there were a chance to transpose the side pawn picker, I've missed it. Um, that's okay. 
Um, yeah, I like this pawn being stuck in front of their rook. I just don't know what else to do here. There is a saying about pushing the odd file pawns, so we're doing that. Um, hmm. I guess I should bring my silver up with my rook somehow. I don't know if I can actually orchestrate any kind of breakthrough. Oh. Oh, well, that's interesting. That hurts. Um, well... Gosh. That singes a lot. Um Okay. I guess I should try this. Man, I've made this position difficult for myself. Um, so we're going to learn something from this experience. I anticipate that, that we're going to exchange rooks and pawns here. Um, that's what I'm banking on. And I think I survive it. And then, yeah. This is what I get for being just a little bit stubborn. Um, so they're using this rook to support this pawn. I don't know what to do. My silver is loose, my rook is loose. I might end up losing a lot of pieces here. And our opponent is a regular on uh, Shogi Wars, so they've probably seen a tactic or two in their day, even if they don't have an established rating yet on 81 Dojo. So. Hmm. I'm just so confused how to use my pieces. My bishop cries for freedom, and its cries go unanswered. Um, but, like, what can I do? Um... What can I do without jeopardizing my position? I don't know. So I pushed my edge pawns, which was probably kind of dumb. Yeah. Uh, they stopped my rook from taking this pawn. Which is probably the best opportunity I had for counterplay anywhere. Um, hmm. This is awkward. I have to activate my bishop. 
my position's not great. Um, do I have to activate it yet? I don't think so. Soon, yes. Um, hmm. How many ways can I think of Nifu before actually playing a move? How many illegal moves can I count before I find a legal move that's worth playing? So yeah, I think I need to activate this now. And seemingly this diagonal is not the right one, so I need to pick this other diagonal. But this is like an admission that I've messed up. This is me giving away pieces to try to activate my other pieces. Because I just cannot find a move and my timer keeps ticking. Okay. Um, interesting. So... What to do now? I kind of want to move the silver to defend the bishop, but it's it's one bad thing after another there. Um, well, looking at my alternatives, everything else is pretty bad. So, how bad can things be? How do I make any progress here? One more pawn and I would be able to make progress. Hmm. Well, oh. Yeah, their bishop's actually in the way of their other pieces here. So this is the correct response. This sets up tactics that ultimately lead to the sacrifice of my rook for two gold generals. Um, if I go through on it. Alright, so now... Hmm. Calculus slightly changes. Well, we have to start somewhere. This looks like a reasonable starting place. So I'm trying to break down the center of the board. Eventually they're going to drop a pawn on my head and I can start taking gold generals while losing my silver. That's one way this could go. Um, another option is like if my silver does end up here and they drop a pawn there. Oh wait, no, if I were to do silver takes here, they exchange bishops and then I'm just giving away a rook for a pawn. So that's not so bright. Yeah, I think all that this is going to do is put the pawn in my hand. I don't think I have a next attacking move after this. I don't know this whole time if I should be exchanging bishops or not. Like, in one sense it seems like not a bad idea. On the other hand, I don't see what follows afterward. Oh, I have some ideas now. 
If bishop takes rook takes, I could drop the bishop back here and promote... Well, that threatens to promote it here. They move the king somehow to defend this threat, and then I move my rook over so that my bishop can retreat, but then they drop the bishop, so I can't promote. Um, almost certainly I'm going to end up sacrificing my rook for the bishop, or trading my rook for the bishop, just because, like, this rook is lined up with this knight, so if they attack the rook, I'm not going to abandon the knight. Um... Here, if they fork these pieces, I'm... they say don't run from a fork, so I guess they're right, but like, I just don't know what to do. Oh. Okay, that's clever. Um, well, it's almost as clever as it looks. There's a problem, there's a concrete problem with this particular retreat. And that's that loose pieces drop off. So I'm attacking the rook. Perhaps it would be best to block this with the rook. Um, other, because like you have two pieces that are not defended. So you have to, like, find a way to either counterattack stronger than I've attacked, or um, defend against both threats at once. And seemingly the only defensive move here would be to interpose the Rook. Which is not a bad idea. Um... Because, like, a rook and a bishop are pretty similar in value at this phase of the game. Well, no, I guess I do have a rook drop here. That stings. Um, all right, yeah. This is unfortunate that, like, at least something's being lost here. Um, how do you come back from this? There's got to be some way. There's got to be some... I don't know. Because it's not super easy to, like, trap my horse if I end up taking that gold general. Um... Interposing the rook allows me to do a rook fork not too far away because the king is kind of exposed. So, yeah, I see that they definitely made a strong attempt to build a castle here. Um, it's just that the king didn't get too far, unfortunately. They did repel a lot of my threats quite successfully. Um, but, yeah, this particular fork seems not to have been dealt with. Um, Alright, so if I take the gold general, I'm threatening mate in one. Uh, and my promoted bishop is pretty nice. Um, they can attack my promoted bishop. I can move it, they could take my rook, and so forth. Um, or actually, yeah, if they attack my promoted bishop, I could... Well, yeah, if they attack this, I can do rook takes pawn and exchange rooks. So, I'm out for the king at this point. Uh, I could move the rook. Moving the rook seems... I don't know. Seems like I should be able to attack freely and not have to move the rook at this point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is my strongest play. <coughs> so if they bring this gold over to defend against the mate in one threat, 
Then I could do Rook takes pawn, uh, attacking their Rook. And, okay, yeah. Unfortunately, this threat was missed by them. Um, so, that's unfortunate. Um, this is a very sharp game. So I guess this double static Rook stuff can get pretty sharp. I'm not super intimately familiar with uh, everything here, but we found our way through this opening somehow. Yeah. Thanks for the game. So yeah, now we proceed to post-game analysis, because... Uh, yeah. So we engage them through the uh, 81 Dojo platform, and we're able to look at the game together. Um, so... Do, 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 do. I don't actually know if they have English or Japanese selected. Uh, so, yeah. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. Uh, yeah, I don't know which language they... <laughs> yeah. Knew for a while things weren't working well. Um, hmm. They actually had a nice attack. So that has me concerned that I've like royally messed stuff up. Um, yeah, they're not wrong that that orc was pretty brutal. So. Um, they saw the gold drop. Oh! Uh, miscalculate the bishop's diagonal would prevent the king from escaping. Uh, yeah, that kind of hurts. Yeah. Oh. Um. Uh. Yeah, let me see if I can get the voice on Discord. I know sometimes this works. So, it's worth a shot. Um, yeah. I don't have a headset, so sometimes this can be extremely finicky, but we can give it our best shot and see if this does work or not. So, um, let's see. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. Um, I'm not sure how to do a voice call. And so, yeah, we'll have to figure this out, I guess. Um, oh! Yeah, I forgot, Shogi Harbor does have a voice channel. Because I'm not sure how else to communicate. Oh, I'm sorry, they're not... Okay, yeah, the play together too. Here we go. Um, all right. Oh, so, oh a good whatever time of day it is. Um, hello. I, hello, hello. Hello. Okay. Um, yeah. So that was a terrible game for me. I think, but. Uh, I don't know, I think, like, you attacked pretty well there, it's just, uh, my counterattack struck really hard. Yeah, I did. Um, so I gave you control, I think, I don't know. Oh, I it. see, I see, yeah, I missed I've that only, I had that. I've only played one game, and it was with Muse, so 81 Dojo is totally new for me. I only made it so that I could, to, after I joined the server. So, oh, okay. Um... Yeah, this is only my second game, but you're the penguin guy, I guess. Do you have your blue and white colors? Yeah, yeah, that's my avatar there. Um, I got this, there was a bundle that had to do with some humanitarian cause on I.io. Oh. 
So that's where I got this artwork from. It, it's beautiful, but it does look kind of... I really love the blue and white pieces, so I, I, I don't know how you do that, but I, I kind of wanted to have something like that. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that... Um, I guess I should try to provide some sort of setup guide for it. Um, I've only worked... Well, I've got Vivaldi browser installed, but I know a lot of people don't use that. But... Um, yeah, I guess I could try to help out with that sometime, sure. It's not a big deal, but anyway, I just thought it was cool. Alright, so uh, you can do whatever you want to do. How do we go about this? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, the opening yeah, I think, is pretty typical, you know? I think so, yeah. The, when I first started playing this uh, on 81 Dojo, I played Static Rook quite a bit. Uh, it's been like a year or something since I last played it, but I've I've been watching oh. other people play this and it's interesting. I just I think this is pretty typical, like yeah, that gold moving up. I think that, that I mean looked... I've done I've done hundreds of static rook games because all I do basically is static rook Yagura. Like I don't really know enough about anything else to feel confident, so that's that's the only issue I have is I haven't really mastered the other castles yet. So, kind of regardless of what my opponent is playing, I just try to make Yagura work. Um, so if I'm facing like four pile rook or ranging rook, then it doesn't really go that well. Mm. But, uh, so still working on that. Yeah, this is very typical. I mean, as soon as you get the pawn to the two, uh, what two five is that? Yeah, two five. Then I got to move the gold up, and then you do your floating rook back to uh, six, and then from there it's pretty typical. That's exactly what I would do if I was sente. Okay, good, good. Yeah, so I'm not just imagining things. Yeah, th yeah, I think I've seen this before. Um, and like you said, yeah, Yagura is a very solid shape, so it's a good one to build. Yagura, yeah, but I'm pretty. I think I. What happened was you made me prioritize other moves, and then I couldn't get my castle in time, and then it just kind of screwed over the, uh... yeah, because I was I was sitting king for too long, basically. Yeah, here I started like playing random edge pawn moves because I wasn't really sure what to do. I, I saw oh, you'd well... push this up, like I was afraid of this, but like I wanted to build boat castle or something, but um, I saw I'm not like put this on because you've got the rook. So, yeah, but like also like if I did supposing I wanted to build Yagra, if I try like pushing uh, this one instead, I'm like, oh wait, well what do I do about that? That's yeah. Uh, so, right. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, so I couldn't figure out. Maybe I'm supposed to bring this gold up after all, um, and eventually so, play this, or I don't know. Basically, uh, I don't know how to... Can I move stuff? Oh yeah, Maybe. I can give you the little hat back, sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, the opening is pretty... I don't know if it's actually... I don't know if I have control or not. Um, uh, let me try clicking. Okay, I think I've hit the hat button here. So yeah, uh, you just have to you hit you hit the hat, but I don't really know. Um, yeah, it, it's just... oh yeah, I think so. Uh, it's uh, Santa's move here. I think you can freely move any piece. I'm trying, but it's just making the arrows. Um. Oh, well, that's weird. Hmm. Well, okay. Um. I guess I'll just. Guide you. Well, let's just go through the um, the game as it was for now. Um, okay. So, because I, I can tell you the critical point that I felt. Sure. That, um, so, you, let's just go ahead. Um, so, here, there's a hat, I guess. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's, I guess, go oh, forward to, you are mentioning some critical point here. I know there were a lot of really fun tactics that showed up pretty soon. So, yeah, um, normally I would make the Kani, Kani castle, or I would probably push up the fourth pawn. Usually I push the fourth pawn before the fifth pawn. Yeah. But, um, trying to get the bishop diagonal open early. 
Oh, I so see. That I could, so I could attack the rook and make you move your rook somewhere else because it was kind of getting annoying sitting there. Um, so, or if I'm lucky, I can move the bishop out to um, four six. Uh, if you're still back on your uh, 2h square. You oh, I pawn, see. It kind of pushes, it pins that pawn so you can't push your pawn up without the rook getting attacked. Yeah, there you go. Um, so, normally I would, um, it, it just kind of depends on what direction the opponent is coming from, but I want to get those three pawns up and then um, basically either the opponent tries to make a bishop exchange um, so in that case, like like what you did, you kind of you moved your bishop out, but I didn't want to do the trade yet, so I just pushed it up to uh, four six, hoping you would uh, trade it there so I could push the pawn up. Uh, um, yeah, there's your guy. Um, yeah, I wanted to move the king earlier, but yeah. No, oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, with this opening, yeah, that's right. There's one timing where the king and the bishop can't occupy the square at the same time. Yeah, that was the annoying part. And so, um, depending on when you make a trade, but you kind of you pushed it over there. So, if the, I think the big issue here was okay, center rook and bishop going on. So I want to get my king over, but I'm also looking at okay. You got the silver and the rook, and I've just got gold to defend. And it's getting a little bit weird here. Because um, as soon as I move the king, the king is kind of helping to protect the center area. Uh, but there just wasn't enough time to, to move anything else. So, because um, I'm like, okay, if you come in with silver, no, well, you drop the pawn. Go ahead next. Uh, go, go to the point where you drop the pawn. Um, that was, um, yeah, there you go. Um, this was really hard because there's a lot of options here, but when I'm looking at this, I see, okay, if I take the pawn, which I think you can make a fork, and, uh, yeah, so I did not do that because what, what I would, if I were you, what I would do here then is you take this, you use the silver to take the pawn, and then I have to drop a pawn. In front of yeah, and then you can move silver to uh, in front of your rook, basically, and take my pawn. Yeah, I was and thinking yeah. about this. This gets actually really sharp. Um, because I have to take it with gold, and then you take the gold with your rook. So, um, this is I was reading ahead on all this, and I'm like, okay, because then I take gold. So you yeah, what that. confused me is what happens if we interpose this move or interject this. Sorry? Uh, I was just oh, wondering, like, um, what happens if you trade the bishops here, too? Yeah, I thought about it, but um, I didn't really see the benefit because it's just a lost piece. You can, because um, next, next, if I do that, you're just going to take the gold, right? Um, I, I oh, maybe you're gonna... right. Yeah, maybe this, yeah. And then this I'm kind of stuck because what? I, yeah, I can move the bishop back, I guess, but... To where because oh 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 yeah you're right that yeah this is actually kind of hard to find a good square to move it to right i can move it back to i could take the I, I can't really take anything i can take the silver big deal um i can move it back to i guess uh back where it was at four six but that's not going to do any good and you're just going to steal another gold from me um, yeah. So, yeah, I didn't want to change bishops there. <laughs> um, I wonder, so yeah, this is actually, like, really sharp. So, yeah, so if uh, somehow I get this bishop back, uh, yeah, this is kind of vulnerable at the moment, for sure. Right. Um, okay, yeah, I guess somehow I hallucinated here and just thought, like, your position is a bit more solid than it actually is. Uh, no, I could. I was seeing the weaknesses, and I'm like, yeah. Um, 
So yeah, that's why instead of pushing that pawn up back there like four turns ago. Yeah. Um. So keep going. Back, back. Oh sure. That. Yeah. Here. So this is why I had to drop the bishop back. Oh, this is what motivated that. I see. Yeah. Because I don't want the exchange to take place where your silver can advance. Um. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um. Okay. So yes. I was hoping you would um. Like maybe avoid the exchange altogether and just skip it and do something else. But uh, you know. So yeah. So I moved the bishop back if you skip to the next move. So um, yeah, I guess there's one other thing I did want to look at. So that's the more complicated variation. Yeah. Um. Then. Another way this could have gone after I take you, you mentioned you have to drop this, but this might be a higher priority threat at the moment. Right, yeah. Uh, so now I have to take back. And now I have to. I, now this is defended at this time. Uh, oh. Uh, or, or maybe I don't have to take the bishop this time. Not I don't. really defended, though, because. Go ahead, take the pawn with your silver. Uh, well, I guess it is, because um, no, I do have the gold. Yeah, yeah but, right. Uh, yeah, all right, so, you're right. I don't know, maybe I actually sack the bishop here or something. Uh, well, no, because even if I take here, you still have this... Hmm. So I have to take back. Um, Normally, I would never even have the rook where it is, and the only reason it's there is to protect that middle pawn, because right. I pushed it too early... Um, trying to get the Yagura without having anything to defend it, and I didn't want to move the gold up there because ah. it gets out of the shape, you know? Yes, no, that move. makes sense. Right. It's a waste of move. I should have pushed the third, you know, the fourth file pawn before the fifth pawn. So that I well, the gold I mean, ultimately, you, you did get to push both of these, but yeah, you made time to, like, bring this out... Um, but this never got time to get in. This is a hard thing to time correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if the opponent is, like, not as higher level, and I don't have to worry so much about... Like, I know the shape, and usually it's not a big deal, because there's not any pressing attacks, so I can just make the moves. So I'll push the pawns, I'll move the stuff around, and it's fine. Um, sure. There was too much pressure early, so... Yeah, um, not pushing the fourth pawn meant that the gold was locked out of its position to protect. And then yeah. once you had the, the central rook, it was kind of like, okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the central rook by itself does look a little scary, because, like, yeah, I am making a threat to this pawn you just pushed. And like you said, you're not wanting to move... Oh, I see. Now I see why you're saying you want to push the other pawn first. It's because... Yeah. Well, okay... You, this took a couple moves, but I finally, finally saw this idea. And yeah, you're wanting to move this here to defend that. Um, I see. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes up, sense. There's no defenders, and you just... I mean, I guess I could have uh, just pushed the fourth pawn, but I didn't have a pawn in hand because I couldn't make the exchange at, um, right. for your bishop pawn. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. Um I see. Okay, yeah, now I see how I, uh, yeah, I made this threat, and it's kind of harder, so that's why you had to bring this up, which is, yeah. we both ended up with something interesting going on here, because, like, that, my rook that, is that, acting all by itself, and it'd be great if somehow I could get the silver in there, but that's never going to happen. Yeah. Uh, or it's just hard to do. Also, you, I mean, first, I mean, I have played quite a few games, and this doesn't really come up. Um, and, yeah, you never really opened your bishop diagonal, which is rare for a lot of people, so... Oh, I see, yeah. Um, maybe I should back up and see... Because normally, even if you're playing static rook, you'd be opening the bishop. Right, yes. I prioritize just pushing this pawn. And, okay, I... Oh, that's right. So, so funny, yeah, I mean, if I just take it on the same thing, I don't like to open the bishop. Um, 
but the other person always does. The issue uh, with making Agura is even at the beginning, um, once you push the pawn up, and I have gold up there, if you want to sure. go to like turn five or six, um, yeah, uh, before that, before that. Oh, before uh, this, yeah. okay, no, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Um, back uh, here, let me, I don't know. Uh, I think I can just, if you give me the cap, I think I can just click. Oh, I see, yeah, good idea. All right. So, okay, so yeah, if we got this is standard, this, 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 this is all fine. Um, and you have to push back. So the issue then is, it's kind of troublesome to open the first pawn. Um, usually, because the bishop diagonal is usually open here. Okay, yeah. And if it's open, then if I push this pawn, the opponent makes a change, a, a trade, and, uh, which is fine because I can move silver up. Um, so for, for now that's fine. But once I make this shape... Sure. Which I really don't want to do. Um, the issue, this is dangerous if the diagonal is open. Um, but I really thought you were just gonna, like, you probably could have just attacked the uh, pawn again here. Um, the 2 4 pawn. Um, the initial look pawn. If you drop another pawn, I take, this up takes, you get to deal that second pawn there. Um, I don't know how to make a variation. Um, oh, yeah, I think if you just, well, uh, on the board, in theory, you should be able to move the pieces, but I don't know in practice if it's letting you do that. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, no. I don't know. Uh, do I have to click anything? Oh, I'm that's sorry. Right? Uh, I'm sorry. If you just click a piece and then click the target square, that's how you, it moves. I forget yeah, if you, no, like, try... I'm not doing anything. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, shoot. Okay, hold on. Um, there we go. Okay. So once I do this... Um, if you drop your pawn, I take, you take, and then I have to, well, I guess I can move up the gold, um, but I don't really want the gold here. Uh, yeah, I think what you mean is something more like, well, no, I guess it'd be the silver here. Um, yeah, I mean, um, but you're, you're basically, yeah, I can put the silver there, but, uh, um, and I just mentioned that because, like, the Right now, the gold would be hanging at this spot. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess you could still kick back, but it's just, it's not a great, and especially, say, um, so if, if you open your bishop before, I can, because then I just really don't, I don't want to move this over here. Right. If you do the uh, it's just exchange, I have to take with gold, and yep. uh, it just it, it wastes a turn for me because then you can uh, maybe drop the bishop again. No, that's a good point. Yeah, that it makes it harder for you to build your castle. Uh, yeah. yeah. Because I can, uh, I, I guess at this point I can move silver up, but, you know, it's it's just, it's a wasted turn for me. But, yeah, know, no, that makes sense. Yeah, the thing I was concerned about if I, is that if I offered this exchange, uh, say if it were your move here, similar position, if I, if this sort of thing happened. I was worried about this. Um, uh, yeah, as you sh as you should be. Yeah. But Usually that's yeah. that's my goal. Okay, I see. Yeah. So yeah, you were fine, but uh, and I guess even going back to the beginning. Yeah. Normally, I would just, you know. Uh, you do your thing, 
Yeah, I think now I understand why it's important for me to push this as soon as I see this moved. Um, so I can bring up the bishop and prevent this from advancing yeah, all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what most people do. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, if I, yeah. I mean, you're sensei, so you have priority. You can just, if you push that, then I have to push gold up. But then you would maybe push. Oh, I here. see. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. And then I, even if I go here, then you just bring bishop there. Right. And uh, then you can push here. I take, rook takes, uh, pawn drop, and then rook floats back to this square. And then you got the defense here again. That makes sense. Okay, yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, normally I would just proceed to make Kani, Kani Gakoi, and push this. Oh, cool. And then get Slimey Silver, but... Yeah, that makes sense. And King goes here and here, so... <laughs> But yeah, no, um, oh yeah, okay, so, once we got, let's go back to the actual game. Sure. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so, I explained why I did the bishop back. And yeah. Then you, um, and then, yeah, you took it, which is fine, I expected that. I did not see this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these bishop drops could be painful. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, cause at first it was like, I push the gold up, but then you're just going to take the rook. So, yeah. Um, so I'm like, okay, well, what, what else can I possibly do? It's like, even if I drop my bishop, you can't drop it anywhere useful. I can drop it here, but then you're just going to take my rook. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and yeah, during the game, my like my first reaction is, well, he could just move the rook over to defend the gold. But then I take the rook and I can drop it back here and pick off the silver. I'm like, oh, well. Yeah. Um. I think there was a much earlier point too when I think you could have done a. I can't remember exactly, but. Uh, Oh, I, I think it's the fact that, like, when you pulled the bishop back, that's when I got to split this castle. Yeah, as soon as I moved the king from sitting to try to actually make the castle, yeah, that's when the square is vulnerable. Uh, yes, that's that makes sense. And so normally, I have the silver up here in preparation for climbing silver, but, um, mm. yeah. So yeah, so king is only protecting certain squares, so this is open here for bishop. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I kind of gave up on keeping the rook. I'm like, well, if I figure at least if I can uh, drop the rook, drop the bishop. Um, I did see, yeah, you had a golden hand here, I think. So, or no, you took it, you took it here. I was expecting you to take the rook, or to move your rook. I was not expecting you to take the gold, although uh, I did consider it. Because... Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, so I should say, like, I've played uh, in tournament play in the U.S. I've played just numerous chess tournaments over many years. And one thing you learn from playing in tournaments where you've got, like, one-hour games is take time and look at all the captures and all the checks and that sort of thing. Because, like, sometimes uh, one of them will just instantly decide the game. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because, so. uh, mm. yeah, I, I, I did miscalculate, because I knew you could take this, and then you got gold. But, um, and th this is where I took your book. Because um, I'm like, well, you're already, I'm, okay, so king, this is pretty much mate here, because I king can't move left, because this is diagonal. Um, yeah. So I'm basically, well, can't really, you know, uh, 
Yeah, my reasoning yeah. once I took the gold is that, well, you have yeah, to react okay. to my threat. And you could yeah. react by attacking my bishop, but, um, yeah, and I might end up losing my rook for your Maybe bishop, and that's fine, because I got a gold, but, um, yeah, I saw that at least I've started an attack, and I can continue this attack, and in fact, I could actually move the rook to hit this, then. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, I, this was, at this point, it was just, yeah, for sure, right here. I guess yeah, I was hoping you would kind of get distracted and, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe take, take the rook, rook and then yeah, I take your rook and we just got a rook exchange. But even yeah, then, I didn't know what I was going to do with it. Um, yeah, it's definitely a good try, yeah. That was just the most creative thing I could come up with for, oh shit, we're about to die here. Um, <laughs> it... it yeah, in Shogi, like, so in chess, if you, like, lose a knight, it's all over. In Shogi, it's amazing just how many chances can show up throughout a game. <laughs> um, yeah. But, yeah, it can take a lot of fighting back to finally get back into the game. But, um, yeah, losing one or two pieces actually doesn't decide the game frequently, and it took me forever yeah, to appreciate that. Come, come back, but I definitely don't like having the rook sitting here where it is, and Silver needs to move up earlier, but uh, I don't have, yeah, I need, mm, I need more time to make the castle, or to make it more efficiently somehow, but. Yeah, I think, like, one way, other than the move ordering things that somehow I caught you off guard and forced you to bring up the rook to defend this, I guess the other lost tempo might have been um, this pawn here. Like, yeah, I'm putting oh. pressure here, but um, I don't know that it requires an immediate reaction. I just played this because I couldn't figure out what I... Yeah, well, probably, I wanted to bring out the bishop, and sometimes this does more, work. But It's more of a Joseki that I just kind of... Yeah, but you're right. Probably not. But Yeah, I guess like somehow I caught you off guard with some move ordering stuff. and Oh, I'm sorry. No, the other move loss I think might have so like I trick uh, somehow our move order required you to bring this up and this might have been a lost move um, but yeah definitely um, this move here moving the bishop again uh, I think this is where we lost the final move and just start things started falling apart here just yeah um, I'm not sure that the bishop actually had to retreat here, even though this position's scary. Maybe it did. I don't know. It, it, didn't, it didn't really retreat to um, protect itself as much as to defend the uh, four, four square. Oh, I see. Because, like, alternatively, I don't know, like, so you just... I'll like, brought this yeah. over, I guess I take or something? Um, well, bishop moved down, so yeah, you take. I could have done this. Um, but, you know, then you just, and then maybe, yeah, uh, there's not really a safe place to move because of rook. So, I guess. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, that is a bit complicated. Oh, wait, I guess my rook was hanging, wasn't it? Uh, what do you mean? Where? Well, I'm just looking. So, like, here I took this rook, but maybe the, like... Maybe this is possible. Oh uh, yeah, duh. Um, well, you probably wouldn't have taken... Oh. I guess you're right, yeah. Yeah, so here... Then, I don't know if I'm here. <laughs> um, yeah, it's actually interesting, because, like, my rook... 
I don't have a silver or a knight or anything supporting my rook here, so it's about to get like slammed repeatedly on the head or something, and I don't know what my rook's gonna do. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this is a better variation. I like this more. Even though my third fire is really weird here, and I still haven't made my castle, and it's just falling apart. Um, but... Hmm. Yeah, I guess... Whose turn is it? My, it's your turn, right? Yeah. So oh, yeah, what, you're right. So what would that be, then? Um... This is... Oh. Well, there's a fun tactic I could try. I could try just taking this, even though I know we just said not to. Okay. This could still be interesting. Um, okay. So, hmm. Uh, okay, in that case... Uh, hold on, hold on. Well... Am I gonna have to... I don't know, what if I just ram head first? Yeah, exactly. Um, I guess... You probably want to take the rook, right? Right, because otherwise the rook's going to take back when I take this uh, bishop. Yeah. So yeah, that actually doesn't help too much. Um, well, it's pretty sharp, I think, because, like, you can keep piling on more and more pieces nearby. It's possible I might get checkmated. Yeah, yeah, I looked up. Um, yeah, so then that tends... Okay. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, so then you can't take my horse. Yeah. So maybe... So what do you, what do, you do here? Uh, yeah, like I said, this is getting really sharp, I guess. I don't know. Um, I, this is, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> this is complicated. Um, well, hmm, yeah, I mean, on your, oh, on your move here, hmm, maybe, maybe drop a silver to defend. Oh, yeah, I guess so. So it's, wait, um, like, uh, well, I guess I have to take the silver. Um, yeah, so you drop here, I drop the silver to defend this. Um, I guess to defend my gold. Something like yeah. this. I mean, if you start doing this here, then maybe, yeah, this is going to get, I mean, even a silver takes. And maybe I don't know. Yeah, it looks tricky. Take again and then uh take again, take again, take again. Yeah, but it's just some I don't know if I can uh mm. Yeah, I guess it's hard to say. It's a sharp position, that's for sure. I guess you have to run. And then I can... Uh... There we go. Gold. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, well, no, you can just take that, go back. Um, I would probably have to drop another gold here. And then... Oh, but I could take this one, right? Yeah, uh, yeah I guess it... Ordered. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. Um, no, I probably don't want to drop that, but... Yes, that's what I was thinking. Maybe you take here. You're right, I could take back. Yeah. But then you have this check. 
and right. just march. Oh, yeah. There we go. yeah. Um. Hmm. Still gets tricky though. Well, uh, no. Yeah, you're not gonna do that. Yeah, no. That's not gonna help. Um. Yeah. Right. It's actually hard to defend, or at least for me, it's hard to defend against this. Mm. Um. Um. That might be. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. I have a trick here. You put it up there. Um. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I just play gold though. Uh, I guess I take the king. Oh, oh, the oh, sorry. Um, oh, okay. Duh. Wasn't looking down there. Um, <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Um. Right. Interesting. Yeah. This is again like king should be in the castle, but it's not. Um, yeah. So, uh, the, I guess this answers my question. So, yeah, this actually can't take here because of the sneaky little rook thing here. Mm. So, I guess backing up just a little bit. The problem is that I get the rook. So, if there's some way to attack without giving me a rook, um, I guess this is one way to attack without giving me the rook. Um, I mean, you'll take the... Uh... Yeah. Oh, and that's nice too, because you pick up this piece. Yeah. Um, I guess you can only basically drop a defender, right? Uh oh, yeah, this is actually a pretty severe attack. Um Yeah, I don't think I survive if I uh try yeah, moving. That's all you can do. So then I Hold on. Do I even bother taking the gold, or can I just win? Um, I, I think I, I'm not in a mate at this point. I could be wrong. Hmm. Interesting. Um. You have to take it with silver, right? Oh, uh, I'm not sure if I... Oh, well... Uh, yeah, because if I don't take this, um, I don't have a checkmate myself, so I need this piece if I'm going to checkmate. Well, you're off... Yeah, I mean, you were in check anyway. Um. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, if my king were to run, the running doesn't do me any good. So it was, this is not a breakmate anymore, because I've gotten out of... Check, you're not in check right now, but now what though? Oh, now I just expel the rook. Um, uh, uh... Yeah, I guess. Um... No? Oh! Whoops. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, um... That's not good. Huh. So, I guess that's saying I need a checkmate. Yeah, so it basically, I, I stopped the brinkmate for a stronger position. So, unless you can brinkmate me here. Yeah. Wow. That's a really strong uh, attack. Uh, and if you do, yeah, I mean, if you use any of your pieces, you're, you're not going to be able to defend anyway, but I don't, I think it's going to be harder with just a gold and a bishop, but maybe, um, maybe if the, if my three, six pawn was up, you could at least drop a bishop there and get a check, but you can't, so. Yeah, I guess my best bet to try to mate here is something like this. Wouldn't I just, uh... 
Yeah, no, you're right. I'm not saying, but yeah. maybe I have a mate. Yeah, um, mm, I can't take it. So. Oh, actually, yeah. Wow. Um, well, mm, so I have to do this again, and then what? Uh, oh, um, okay, so I have to, I have to take that, and then... Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's a mate. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, it surprised me. Um... Mm. Wow, so I have exactly the right pieces to do that. <laughs> yeah, so that, that was... Uh... That's the danger of stopping the bank mate. Yeah, so, yeah. On my side. Uh, mm -hmm. See, so yeah, even though you have a rink mate, I have a checkmate. You're right. So, um, I guess that. Rink, rink mate is uh, continue a checkmate until death, right? So. Yeah, right. So, I'm, yeah, like, I. Yeah, I stopped. Putting you in check just so that I could play this, uh, play one of those moves in there somewhere. Right. There's one move I made that didn't put you in check. I think it was taking the. Uh, no, yes. No, 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 you're right. That yeah. At some point in the sequence, to get closer to my king, you had to do that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Whereas, like here, I guess you have to play a defensive move like that, and um. Looks like. It's still a good position. You have three golds in hand. Mm. Um, I'm not sure exactly how you proceed. Like, okay, yeah, I could take a knight or something, but I think my attack stops soon. I don't know exactly when, but... Yeah. Oh, Lily found a fun move. Oh, wow. What? Uh, One of our spectators here, Lily, found this fun bishop drop here. Oh, Lily is, uh, uh... She's too Don. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. Um... Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, 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 but what a... Can't I just... Sorry, am I missing something? Can't I just take it? Uh, I... Well, yeah, this is defended. Right. Um... Um... Then we got a bunch of, uh... What happens if I just start dropping a bunch of golds? I'm yeah, gonna... I wonder. Um, you probably want to put the rook in position first, because, like, if you give me all these pieces, I'm going to checkmate you with them. So make sure you have the rook or dragon where you want it before you start doing this. But, um... Hold on, hold on. Um, the, the, if, if, no, like, the bishop trap where, yeah, can you do that again? Um, you can go ahead and take my rook. Uh, I don't know what happened. Oh, sorry, yeah, I've taken back the your rook oh, sacrifice. Uh, no, the, the one where if you put the bishop trap and I take it with the rook, um, hypothetically, because I, I, I missed that, so I would have done that. So you can take my rook. Okay. Make the, put the bishop trap, yeah, and then I take it, and then you steal me. Which is fine, but I'm not in check here, so um, I'm just I'm just playing through. Like I don't know. Let's see, that that's not gonna help. Yeah, I don't have enough stuff. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Nah. Huh. Um. Oh, right. Yeah, that looks strong. So you probably would drop it. Um. Maybe well, I was not. a bit surprised actually by me taking the gold. I was trying to find like, do I have something more forcing than that here? Maybe I uh, don't. Yeah, no. that's not a great. That's just more of a. Finishing the game kind of thing, like, like, uh, 
Usually when it gets to this point, I'm playing Shogi Wars and I have about 30 seconds on the clock. Oh, I see, I see, yeah. Yeah, Shogi Wars can do that to you, where, like, you just panic. <laughs> I've yeah. done that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, have you have you recorded this entire thing? Uh, yeah, yeah. Is that okay? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, oh yeah, Lily you... found a better move than I did there. <laughs> Lily's good at this Sume thing. Yeah, yeah. That's, I guess, how you get to be 2 on. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, I always like my double... Mm, but I mean, yeah. Yeah, because then if I take... The bishop... Yeah. Yeah, this is what I mean by, like, um, before you start trading pieces, just line up as many pieces as you want to, like, start the attack, and then once everything's in the right position, then start trading. Yeah, and then that's mate. Or, uh, no, yeah, taking, no. taking here is mate. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, definitely a really, really sharp position, and it points out again, like, you were saying it's important to... And you built a nice castle, it's just the king never made its way there. <laughs> um, it was a good castle, honestly, like... Um, yeah, because I didn't know what my rook was going to end up doing. Um, so this kind of defeats my idea of bishop takes. And, and yeah, this is just a really sharp position with a lot of chances. Mm. Um, but uh, how did I even get us here? I forget. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I guess the... I don't know, have you seen, like, uh, Shogi Harbor made a few fun videos that were on YouTube called, like, Road to Shodan. Um, they, they just they have some good practical tips for players about, like, I mean, we all know this, build the castle and, um, I don't know, uh, make sure you have en enough pieces attacking and try to balance attack and defense. It's hard to do. A lot going on over there now. Jeez. Yeah, Lily's uh, pointing out uh, a better move ordering or strategy for me building a castle here. Uh, or defending this somehow. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, an interesting game with uh, definitely a totally different fork. But, you know, like... like like we established in the beginning, I could tell when it was going downhill, so... I guess it's important that I can at least visualize it, but I, I you know... Yeah, I, I think... Right here, yeah, here's, here's the not good part. <laughs> yeah, this part, uh, like you were saying, you thought you had to bring the bishop back to defend this point, and your reasoning is that you don't want to move the silver, or you don't want to allow me to get this pawn wedge here, but... Um, at this point, I don't think it can be avoided, even though you don't want it. Like, yeah, the king has to find some shelter very soon. And yeah, the bishop retreat allowed me to split the castle, which led to these other problems. So in this specific instance, yeah, you just sometimes you don't get everything you want out of this castle, I guess. Yeah. 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 Well, cool, cool. I think that's a good amount of analysis for this game, because I do have to play Lily. Yeah, best so. of luck. Yeah. So, um, let me know when you finish doing whatever you're going to do with this. I wouldn't mind watching it. Oh, sure thing. Yeah, I'd be glad to let you know. Uh, yeah, Thanks cool. for joining us for this game and analysis. Yeah. All right, fun, fun. Um, so, I guess I'll just... I don't know... I took game done. Okay, thank you. Yeah, anytime. Yep, take care. All right, yeah, so this is us analyzing this game with uh, Lily, Lion Mane, and Tenchi, or K Tenchi, too. Um, yeah, super sharp game. And he, I mentioned how trying different openings, I'm going to learn something. Um, I didn't 
necessarily want to contradict the opponent right here, but um, one thing worthy of note that uh, you'll see other folks point out is this particular opening where Gota gets the pawn in hand first. Um, so this actually, this move ordering doesn't quite work out the way you'd think it did. I, I know he mentioned, like, my double advance of my pawn forces this immediately. And maybe it does. Maybe there's something I don't know. But, um, yeah, actually, I think this is possible. But, yeah, in practical terms, this is going to um, find a way back into the main line. But this is all to say, once they've pushed this, I should probably, like, do something like this. That way, if they push, then I can oppose this. And if they do this, it's entirely fine that I do this, I guess. Or, I don't know. I gotta study this better. There's too much to know. There is. But, yeah, this sort of thing confuses me, and I need to figure it out. Yeah. Shogi's a great game. Um, oh, Gota should just trade bishops. Yeah. I see. So yeah, that was the other point I was confused about this game, is uh, I didn't want to offer a bishop trade, but also, like, I had royally messed up, like, everything. Um, plan B is something like this, and then pushing that, and pushing this, and trying to, like, make something of this. And I was not optimistic about this plan. Because uh, whenever I push the pawn in front of my king to let the bishop out, then they immediately push this and my castle collapses. So, like, I built this really bad position around my king. So, um... I did offer this bishop exchange uh, just kind of out of desperation to try to save my king. But I think Lily's right that like here, like my options, I was seriously considering knight takes, which is going to lead to a very painful position after um, once they get a pawn in hand, that pawn could go right on the knight's head. Uh, or I don't know. This is just, I don't like it. Um, so, yeah. Um, also, the moment I push this, uh, there becomes this bishop skewer just picking up my knight, which is painful. Tough stuff. So, yeah, I think they should just exchange bishops. Um, they were scared a bit because, well, one, they hadn't done their typical thing. Two, they had completed this. So, yeah, their move ordering, I guess they're saying they normally would have kept this pawn back one and brought the bishop, uh, they normally would have put the bishop over here and brought the king into the castle and then pushed this, or, I'm sorry, one square, but they normally would have the king over here by now and the bishop over here before trying to open this sort of thing up. So they were just a bit startled. I was a bit startled because I don't play static rook a lot. I usually bring out my rook on the left side of the board or in the center, um, just opening up my center pawn. And here it's illegal to like double the pawns, so I have no way to like break this position open. So yeah, instead we dilly and dally around a bit. Uh, during the game, I thought a little bit about this. Uh, you heard me in the game mentioning, like, what about this? Well, okay. I'm sorry, after their king had moved, I mentioned this. In this particular position, as soon as the bishop retreats, it promotes, so that's going to give it some freedom, um, but the bishop might not be able to promote this game because it only moves diagonally and the rook has this covered, so... Potentially, you might be looking at this, and then the bishop has nowhere to go. But also, potentially, like, I can crack the bishop out of here, but maybe not. But maybe if I can't crack the bishop out, then I can, like, I don't know. This bishop's also trapped, but they can exchange it for a rook. 
But, uh, yeah, after this, I lose my bishop. And, yeah, I'm out of tricks. Um, so, this bishop drop is too risky out here. Because the king hasn't moved over yet. And so this bishop can't promote back this way. Um, so, alternatively, so... Here I am burning a move, just not really knowing what to do. Uh, yeah, they start to bring the king into the castle, which means I have to launch my attack now, so I do. I need to launch this, because this is a really solid castle, and if I don't attack right now, it's all over. Um, and then they panicked, and for reasons mentioned, like, I think any other move would have been fine. Like, even something like this, or just put the king in the castle or whatever. I know it's unpleasant that I get this little pawn wedge, I get to control the square. But, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, I broke the castle slightly. I've, like, chipped a tooth or something here, but it's... I mean, what am I going to do with this? I don't know. Or, I'm sorry, he pointed out... Like, somehow, with this, I could bring my silver in. I don't... I still don't quite get it. Um, I'm sure there's some merit to this. So... Yeah, I don't know where I mean, I should drop my pieces to continue attacking here. Shogi's hard. Shogi's way too hard. Chess is a battle. Shogi is a war. So, you gotta plan things ahead. And I don't think my taking here is planning far enough ahead to do anything permanent. Um, another idea would be if they try to retreat the king, I uh, just try to pin the rook. Or if they take with this pawn, again, maybe there's some ability to promote this bishop somewhere. Um, I don't know. Not sure. But yeah, I think Lily's completely right, though, that even so, like, even here, just take this, and I have to weaken my castle. The head of this knight, the knight can't defend itself, and pawns move forward, so, like, eventually this pawn and lance are just gonna mop up my knight. And this is gonna push eventually, and it's like, hell's gonna break out around my king. So it's very important that my attack succeed, because I don't have a defense. So, um, it's kind of what I was looking at. But yeah, I got lucky that my opponent walked into this fork. And then, as I was noting after the game, suppose we had gone this way. Now I've got this rook in hand, I can drop it here, and that's check. And then the rook promotes when it moves, so yeah, get to take a piece, and even if I win a piece, it's not the end of the world, but um, yeah, just move by move, this position gets harder to defend. So probably here you just need to back up. And, oh wait, no, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. This is just, yeah, uh, my opponent's just in a very difficult position. Here, they take my rook. Uh, it's necessary to defend against my checkmate threat. And they did not do the necessary thing. And I pointed out, well, if you'd actually done this... I know here you're defending this checkmate and attacking my bishop. But even as you attack my bishop, I can attack the rook and things still get a bit complicated. Um, so... Couple ideas. One is if they trade here, I promote the rook. I have two gold generals, but they have some pieces. I, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Because the rook is not necessarily the right piece to use for an attack here, but um, their attack is like super slow too. Um, if they exchange rooks, I'm hitting this. Um, I mean, yeah, they're hitting this. 
And I'm still threatening. Well, if I do this drop, they can block and exchange rooks or otherwise take my bishop. So this position actually looks hard for me to attack in. So um, I know I keep pointing out there's this variation, that variation, and all this is just super confusing, but it is. And the reason it's so confusing is because I opened the game in a really weird way where I couldn't get my bishop out. And so once they managed to play this, I didn't have a good way to stop this pawn advance without having my rook try to cover the square. And if my rook's trying to cover the square, I can't push any of the pawns in between the rook and this target square. So that severely limited my defensive options. So like, because my defensive options are so limited, um, this forced me to do some kind of weird stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm just like pushing this, pushing this, waiting for something to happen, because I just can't figure this out. Um, but realistically, I probably needed to move the bishop out. But the instant this bishop moves, then this pushes. And if I take, like, this starts to get kind of dicey. Thankfully, my rook does cover this, kind of, sort of. But, yeah, I don't know. This is not comfortable. Um, so if I try to, like, attack this, they might be able to attack here. But I'm kind of at a loss. I'm sure it's fine, but, like, I'm just very startled because I always move my king to the right and always bring out my rook on the left. So with everything flipped, it's just very difficult for me to figure out what's going on. But yeah, here you see uh, this bishop had moved once, twice, uh, and then the bishop moved a third time. So it's like around here that we just hit critical mass. And yeah, that's game over. Um, they have a rook in hand, but uh, this promoted bishop and gold cover everything. So that's checkmate. Tricky game. Not as easy as it looks at first. But yeah, hope we all enjoyed this little recording here. Um, and yeah, best of luck to Tenchi as they try to get a rating on the website. We've got a teaching ladder that plays every weekend on the teaching ladder. For those folks who have ratings and join the teaching ladder club, um, they get to play a higher rated opponent and a lower rated opponent. And that way everybody gets to teach and to learn. So I, I know a lot of folks are busy this weekend, but just in general, there are a lot of people who participate in this ladder. I think at one point we had 15 people playing on the same weekend or something. It was awesome. Uh, attendance is down this weekend. That's fine. But yeah, it's glad to help our opponent start to get a rating here. Hopefully I pointed out a few things. Hopefully I've learned a few things here too. Am I going to remember any of it? Maybe. I hope so. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching this.